The following is a demonstration of the blocking API integration between Fluency and Peplink in Control. Fluency has the capability to integrate with Peplink in Control API. For this integration, we leverage Fluency's robust behavior engine to detect network threats in real time based on the firewall data collected from the Peplink devices. Fluency can be configured automatically to issue an API call for a network block upon the triggering of a behavior event. In the Fluency ecosystem, this is defined as performing an automated action. These actions can be uh, any API actions from any vendor that offers their API support. We have defined two such API actions for this demonstration. These actions are the peplink disconnect and the peplink block IP. Performing the peplink disconnect action will disconnect the device from the network based on its MAC address. This removes the network access from this device only. Now performing the block IP action will blacklist the destination IP address and prevent its access to every machine on the network, not just the machine that triggered the network alert. A behavioral model behavior has already been configured in Fluency to detect the malicious URL. And when this malicious URL is triggered, two actions are performed. So the demonstration here is fairly simple. We have a peplink router connected to InControl. There are two client systems. One is a client laptop. The other is a virtual machine. So there are two client systems connected to the same network. On the screen here, it's a split screen with the laptop on the left and the virtual machine being on the right side. Now, we'll visit some sites using the web browser, then confirm that connectivity has been blocked following the detection of the malicious URL. Here, we set up an example of a phishing email. Let's copy the URL and run in the demo system. Starting with the virtual machine that is connected to the internet. At this point, Peplink will have both successfully blocked the internet connection and sent the event to Fluency. Checking Fluency, we see that in real time, Fluency has alerted us of the incident. To test, in the virtual machine, let's try to enter some credentials. Now let's go to another tab and load a different website. Looks like in this case, the virtual machine has lost its internet connectivity. Going to the client laptop demo, remember this is on the same network as a virtual machine that just lost internet. It still has internet connectivity. But let's visit that same phishing URL. It does not work in real time. Let's come over here. Uh, confirming this incident in Fluency. Yes, we see the MAC address of the machine and the malicious IP address. So these two parameters were successfully used to block connection in Peplink. Moving over to Peplink, we have firewall rules configured here and they make use of the MAC denier and the IP block lists. Uh, these are provided by InControl. These lists can be seen in the menu if you go up to Access Control Lists and Grouped Networks. We see that the MAC address has been added as well as the IP address in the grouped networks. And this completes our demonstration. For further information, please visit www.westnetworks.com. Thank you.